Ma yung udto kena tung tenen. What makes a person blind? There are two things in which, if being devoid from us, surely we could not see. The first one is our sense of sight. Not necessarily that if a person um, has an eye, he could always see. But there is also a situation. We have, a, we have an eye, but we don't have the sense of sight. And the second one is the presence of light. No matter how good our sight is, as long as there is no light, there is darkness, then we cannot see. Magmog yun ay kanuna ay may tabo nga kung wa tayo makitaan, mahadlok yun ta. Kay maghuna-huna tag-ungo, bisa ng ungo o naghuna-huna nato. Kay kung napay ungo din eh, kung atong pangutan on, mas nahadlok pang ungo nato. No? And this is exactly what comprise a person to see. And here we are told about the healing of the blind man. And we are also told when Jesus healed the person, the blind man, he said, have sight and your faith is your salvation. Your faith has saved you. Somehow in our spiritual life, we always need these two things, the sense of sight and the presence of light. God has given us the gift of faith to be our sense of sight, to see things beyond our seeing, to see things and to transcend things beyond our understanding. We need the sight of faith. We need the eyes of our faith. And yet, there is also one thing that is important, and that is the presence of light. Even if we have the faith, but if God is not with us as the source of light, as light himself, then we cannot transcend we cannot see beyond what our eyes can see. We cannot understand beyond what our human reason can comprehend. Then therefore, the presence of Jesus in the life of this blind man, in his acceptance of Jesus as the son of David, he continues to shout, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. Even if he has no, he, has, uh, he doesn't have the sense of sight, but he has the faith as the sense of sight that penetrates who Jesus is. Not just Jesus of Nazareth, but Jesus the Messiah. Jesus God. Jesus as our Lord. And Jesus as the source of light has given him the light. And thus, he was able to see and not only physical healing, physical sense of sight, but all the more his faith became fortified that indeed Jesus is the son of David the Son of God, the Messiah. And this is also the same thing that we need. Yes, we might have good sight, but how about our spiritual life? Maybe perhaps we already are blind, meaning to say, we keep on saying, where are you, Lord? Well, in fact, the Lord is always there. We could no longer sense Him. We could no longer sense His love. We can no longer feel his presence. And then therefore, we are physically, we are spiritually blind. We need to renew once more our life of faith and accept the source of light himself, who is Jesus, in order for us to see once again the workings of Jesus. Even in the most trying of times, even in the most problematic moments in our life, we see Jesus. We feel him. We sense him. Because with our faith, and the source of light who is Jesus himself, the presence of the Lord in us, we can sense him. We can surely see him. And therefore, this is always our prayer to continue to nourish our faith, to continue to ask the source of light to come in us, to dispel the darkness of doubt, to dispel the darkness of pride, to dispel the darkness of sin, so that the source of light would always be with us would always illumine our hearts and minds so that we can continue to encounter our Lord in our lives. Amen.